for today details the results from a phase three trial of targeted therapy using palbociclib in combination with hormone therapy. Please join me in welcoming our final speaker, Dr. Nicholas Turner, a consultant and medical oncologist at the Royal Marsden and team leader at the Institute of Cancer Research, London, United Kingdom. Thank you, Dr. Turner. Thank you. It's a pleasure on my on behalf of my co-authors to present the results of the Paloma 3 study that is the first phase three study to report with a um, CDK4-6 inhibitor and identifies and confirms that CDK4-6 is a key therapeutic target for hormone receptor positive breast cancer. So palbociclib is an orally selective inhibitor of CDK4-6 that inhibits breast cancer cell proliferation and growth by preventing cell cycle progression from G1 to S phase. In a prior phase two study, palbociclib in combination with letrozole significantly improved PFS over letrozole alone in newly diagnosed advanced ER positive breast cancer. But many women relapse during or after adjuvant endocrine therapy, and Paloma 3 assessed the activity of palbociclib in breast cancers that had progressed on their prior endocrine therapy. So the Paloma 3 study took women with hormone receptor positive, HER2 negative advanced breast cancer, both pre- and postmenopausal women who had progressed on prior endocrine therapy. 521 women were randomized, 347 to palbociclib in combination with fulvestrant that is a standard of care endocrine therapy for these women, and 174 to placebo in combination with fulvestrant. This is the primary endpoint of the study, which was investigator-assessed progression-free survival. Progression-free survival on placebo and fulvestrant was 3.8 months, and on placebo, on palbociclib, I'm sorry, and fulvestrant was 9.2 months, with a hazard ratio of 0.422 and a highly significant p-value. The curves separate early and then continue to separate with ongoing follow-up. Palbociclib and fulvestrant combination was well tolerated. There were frequent hematological side effects. Neutropenia was seen in 79% of patients on palbociclib and fulvestrant and leukopenia in 46%, but the, which are low blood counts. But the incidence of febrile neutropenia, which are infections in the presence of low blood counts, was very rare and was 0.6% in both arms. Symptomatic adverse events were largely similar to placebo. There was a small increase in fatigue, alopecia, and infections, but serious adverse events were the same in both arms, numerically less with palbociclib, and discontinuations due to adverse events were similar, occurring in only 2.6% of patients on palbociclib. So in conclusion, palbociclib and fulvestrant combination improves progression-free survival compared to placebo and fulvestrant in women with hormone receptor positive HER2 negative advanced breast cancer whose disease had progressed on their prior endocrine therapy. Benefit from palbociclib was demonstrated across all pre-specified subgroups, including in both pre- and postmenopausal women. The combination was well tolerated, and this identifies an effective treatment option for women whose cancer had progressed on prior endocrine therapy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Turner. Um, again, I think the Paloma 3 trial results are incredibly important for women with hormone receptor positive, advanced, or metastatic breast cancer. And it represents uh, a new standard of care option, particularly after uh, 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 progression of disease by, uh, from prior endocrine therapy. 